Hey YouTube, I want to show you a very uh, simple experiment to show uh, how much heat potential there is in, from, coming from HHO and a potential way that you could potentially use it for heat. Um, basically what I have here is a series of black iron pipe and it's made into an L shape. On the uh, pipe I have a Type K thermal couple. Um, it's basically the same type of device you would use for uh, measuring exhaust gas temperature from an engine. Um, that's connected into uh, this part of the pipe. And then we have the, the readout of the temperature uh, down there in the uh, corner of the screen. So now I'm going to show you uh, how much heat we can get off this apparatus. I'm using an H2 heat uh, HHO torch and we're going to show you what it does. Okay, now we're going to light the torch. So now you can see the HHO torch flame. Now we're going to show you the effect. So I'm going to take the torch and uh, shoot it down the, the center of this pipe and then watch what happens to the temperature. You can listen at a certain angle when you're shooting right down the pipe. It makes a, a slight whistling noise. If I tip it and it touches the, and it touches the metal side of the, the pipe, it gets uh, the heat goes down. So I turn it, and the heat goes down. And when it's making the whistling noise, the temperature starts to go up. You gotta try to match it to the sound. Okay, we're up to about 300 degrees at the thermal couple. And you can feel a very definite amount of heat coming out of the pipe. to 350. I let the, uh, the torch lose its the point.
get the right point, the heat really go, the temperature really goes up. The air temperature in the room is about 50 degrees and the air temperature coming out of the end of the pipe is about 180, 180 right in the, in the room, right outside the pipe. up to 400 now it seems that this effect uh, is greatly increased by uh, put, by having a bend in the pipe so if I shoot this flame into the uh, into the end of this uh, this elbow here, you can see it's, it gets very hot. Anyways, just wanted to share you that, show you how the, uh, you can get some very interesting uh, temperature uh, compared to just having the flame in air. You know, you can't feel any radiant heat around the flame, but when you have it into a contained area, it seems to be able to heat, it, heat the air better.